All right, guys, I thought this might be fun. So we're getting ready to do John C.'s call. It's uh, several different procedures, but the first thing is is we're going to go to clear. We've mixed our clear up right now. I'm going to always do clear because I need a little clear at the end, but then I'll dye this later. So what we're going to do right now is before we get it into our mold with all the reed, we're going to go ahead and draw a vacuum and degas this. So you can see right here we're drawing a vacuum. Coming up on minus 10 inches of mercury right now. We're going to take it to minus 30. You're going to watch it literally start boiling. It looks like there's no air in it, but trust me, all of a sudden you'll just see it start boiling, degassing itself. beginning now and you'll be surprised just how much air is in there it hit pretty violent in the boil we're at minus 25 right now starting to roll and you can see these little lines that are here okay and all these little lines if you line up on those, you'll see it's actually passing them, which means it's expanding. You can see it boiling right now. It's not really boiling, it's degassing. All the bubbles are coming out of the product. It's pretty amazing just how much air is in there. So this is the first step when you're trying to get stuff to not have air bubbles is, before you cast it, go ahead and degas it. We degas and then we also pressure cast. See how violent that is? That's just like, it's like literally, I'd say three times the amount that was in there now. And what will happen is, it will all of a sudden just start mellowing out. And then you know it's degassed. I'm at minus 30 right now, so I'm going to shut the pump off, lock the uh, arm over, and I'll just sit here now for a few moments. We're about three minutes in. It'll draw all that up, and all those bubbles will start combining together, and then all of a sudden, they'll start falling down, because you'll know it's degassed. I won't make you sit here and watch that though, but that's the first step we do in trying to get the best quality blanks we can get. Now this is going to be for a clear black and clear. <laughs> it's going to be black, a translucent black, uh, moving into a clear tip, which is a tough process to do. But uh, we're going to do it. I won't show you all the steps that I'm going to do to do it because I want to keep some of them private. That way I haven't got 25 other people doing the same call blanks I do. So you'll hopefully understand. But I wanted to show you the first step. So we're going to degas. Then we're going to mold up. Then we're going to go over. We're going to pressurize it. And then we'll finish the casting process in that. So... Just for some of you guys that ask questions about, well, how in the heck, what, what do you do to do this, do that? These are some of the steps.